All right, let's take a look at the digital oscilloscope. That is cool. It is amazing how small they can make these things these days. So this is basically a multimeter with an oscilloscope built in. This is interesting. It looks like a thermocoupler. I'm not really sure. I think that's what that is. Then we get our probes. So first thing is very nice silicone wire on here, very flexible. This is exactly what I look for whenever I'm looking for some probes. You can also see that they are properly labeled CAT3, and these are 1000 volts max. Very nice looking tips on there. Then we got a USB cable. This is USB-A to USB-C, and that will plug in here. We got a terminal right there. Then we got our oscilloscope channel one port right there. And here is the probe. We got our ground, and that has an alligator clip, so we can put that on the ground. And then this guy actually has a nice little hook on the end. So that's gonna make for easy monitoring. Now on the bottom here, we got a switch for our 1X and our 10X. So we got this little bag, so we got a little screwdriver, and that will fit right inside the BNC connector in that little hole. So if you want to adjust that probe, we can do that with this. We got a couple of locating sleeves, and we've got these color rings. So if we had a bunch of these probes and we wanted to make sure that they were all color coded the way we want, we could take those off and we could put on whatever color we want. Came with yellow, I'm just gonna keep it like that. So let's plug in our probes. Oh, cool. I do have a stand. Cool. So mode we can use to change between the oscilloscope function and the multimeter function. And then right here we can see that F1 will change the voltage. So we've got DC and we've got AC. Obviously this is AC. It does take it a second to read, but I'm not really too surprised by that. Just having the capacity to do all that is actually pretty amazing. Looks like we've also got ohms and diodes. So let's do that. There we go. That works. Let us do sound. Nice. And that reads pretty quick, so that's good. We can check amps. Of course, for that, we're going to need to use the other ports. So let's go back to oscilloscope. There we go. So it jumped way off, but let's go ahead and auto range. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. That is amazing. Yeah, that thing is working extremely well. And I really like just that screen. It's nice and bright, nice and colorful. I can see everything that's going on. I've got all these functions and they all tell me exactly what they're gonna do. That is nice. So let's go ahead and hold that. And then if I pull the probe off, we can still see it. So I can take that and I can show it to somebody and they'll know exactly what I'm dealing with. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna use this to check one of these inverters. So this is gonna take DC power and try to turn it into AC power. That can either be a pure sine wave or a modified sine wave and we can use this tool to check that and see which kind it is. So if we plug that guy in and there we go. We can see we got a square wave. So that is telling us that this is outputting a square or a modified sine wave. And that could still be fine, but if you have equipment that you really care about, you don't wanna plug that into a modified sine wave inverter. So so that makes this extremely useful because you can actually find out before you plug anything in whether or not it could possibly damage your expensive equipment. So that is very cool. So yeah, that thing is awesome. Like a multimeter and an oscilloscope in one in a nice tight little package. That thing's amazing. I am very happy with that. So the last thing I really want to check. Yep, that is exactly what that is. That is a thermocoupler mode. And right here we got our temperature settings. So I'm going to hit F4. And then we got Celsius, so it's reading 25 degrees. If I put my hand on it. And that is warming up. So that's very handy. If you want to test out some equipment, but you don't want to have the door open, you can just throw this thing in there and you can find out what temperature that is. This little guy is packed full of features, and this is actually a very nice thermocoupler as well. So yeah, I am very happy with that.